This is the glitchiest play in Madden 23. What the hell was that? It is such a problem that EA literally banned it from being used in all Madden tournaments. Oh, you mother <laughs> Okay. In fact, it is so glitchy they banned all RPO passing plays because of it. Help me! Help me! If you want to see what overpowered play is breaking Madden 23, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm playing against an opponent who is using the biggest glitch play in Madden 23. If you clicked on this video thinking I'm going to show you how to use this glitch play, shame on you. You are destroying the Madden community, blah blah blah. I don't really mean that, but it feels good to say it to somebody else since that's all I get in my comments. No, instead I'm making this video to spread awareness about this play and to show EA to fix this crap. Look, I know I overused words like glitch and cheating in my video titles and thumbnails, but I really don't think that I use anything that really breaks the game or is actually a glitch or cheating. I just use attention grabbing words or highly searchable phrases, but 99% of the plays and schemes I put out are just well designed money plays and Madden cheese at worst, hence the name and the mouse logo. Speaking of money plays, in today's video I will once begin using my Baltimore Ravens offensive ebook, which is easily my favorite running and trick play offense that I put out this year. As always, if you guys want to see more from this offense or more gameplay videos like this in general, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, limit on the comment section, but if you don't want to wait and you want to see more well-designed money plays right now from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top hand comment and you can instantly download any of my ebooks to your phone or laptop or have them sent to the email of your choice. In this gameplay, I start off on offense and I wanted this video to be about this new offense I was trying to run out of the pistol spread as it has a bunch of glitchy plays in it, which I still will be showing you throughout the video. The first play of which is a simple read option play, which is a really good man counter as no one typically is responsible for the quarterback. All you have to do is watch the read defender with the R above his head and if he is aggressive and comes forward towards the handoff, keep it with the quarterback. If he steps back, hand it off. It's really that simple. I make a good read, I make the user tackle miss, and we are off to the races for a 75 yard touchdown run with Jalen Hurts on the very first play of the game. On defense, I'm still using my Broncos defensive ebook, and I'm also still using the Dime 2-3, which is a defense that I put out just a few days ago. If you guys didn't see that video, I have a link in the description for that as well. On the first play, I use a random cover one man coverage before switching to my money defense, the silver pin shoot, as it gets an instant sack on second down. I choose this play again on third and ten, and the pressure gets in instantly, forcing a bad throw. Nope. He goes for it on fourth down and calls the very glitch play that this video was about while I once again call the silver pen shoot. Only this time the defensive end comes in off the edge completely unblocked for an instant QB hit ending the drive. But it proves this guy only pulls out the cheats when he is losing and how ironic is it that he uses the most despised player in the game to Sean Watson to run the most despicable play in the game. Just goes to show you what type of person we're dealing with here. Back on offense, he's running cover for Matt, so I try to run a one play touchdown the PA deep in, but I have to throw it early since I am too close to the end zone. And it gets picked off, as typically need about 40 to 50 yards of space for this play to develop. Back on defense and back to the silver pen shoot, we shut down the first run. As much as I don't like this guy, it looks like he's running a lot of my favorite plays at the exact same Ravens playbook, as he is running the buck sweep, which is a play I put out last year. He tries to run that glitch play again, and it gets shut down the exact same way. Oh no, you don't! As we finally get to see the play for the first time, it is the infamous RPO read flat wheel. I know about this play, I know that it's a play so glitchy even pros are complaining about it until I got banned from competition, but I've never ran into the play myself until this game, and since I've never really watched other people's channels, I really have no idea what it does until today. On the next play, he starts motion snapping a receiver to pick up the blitz, and I noticed that pretty much every play he is running is from a popular YouTube offense that I've been playing against before, with the exception of the RPO glitch. Then he hits me with one of my favorite plays from a video that I put out earlier this year, the QB blast from the gun empty quads. I stop the run play, but he hurries me up, and somehow Amari Cooper completely destroys my cornerback and press for an instant one play touchdown. What kind of animation was that? Oh, you mother <laughs> okay. I see he is still in a cover four quarter, so I go back to my cover four bomb, and my wide receiver has a step. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> but Hurts just doesn't have the arm as he underthrows it for an interception for the second time this game. You have no manners! Back on offense, he goes back to the PA crossers, which has to be one of the most used plays that I've seen online this entire year, as he barely gets the first down. He starts dinking and dunking me with a normal offense once again, and you will notice that when he does this, it doesn't end well for him as I get an interception. Gotcha, bitch! 
Back on offense, my opponent is still in cover four, so I switch to a play that requires much less arm in the escape play. All you have to do is streak the tight end, and this play destroys a lot of different defenses. Break yourself, fool! I put out a full breakdown of this play also, and I will have a link in the description for that if you guys want to check that out. The lead doesn't last long, though, as he hits him with that QB blast one more time, only this time he does an even better job than I do with it, as he takes it to the house to tie the game. Man, that sucks! And now he's doing stupid shit like onside kicks. How about new? And I'm totally cool with it because I love short fields. I hit him with a jet pass before going back to the PA deep once again. It doesn't get the separation I was expecting, but I do make an adjustment with the ball in the air. You got moss. And we moss him to get the lead back once again. Then with 45 seconds left, he pulls out that glitch play once again, and it actually works this time. I don't know if it was because he flipped the play, but watch the cornerback guarding Amari Cooper as he completely glitches out, leaving his man streaking down the center of the field uncovered for an easy touchdown. What the hell was that? And if that wasn't enough, he then kicks it to my fullback and gets a hit stick fumble on the very next kickoff. Great! And I gotta be honest, I'm still reeling and trying to figure out what happened as he runs the play again. Luckily, this blitz gets in so fast it hits him before he gets the throw away to the same wide receiver who's wide open. Doesn't really matter though as he runs it again, only this time he confuses me with a new motion and since I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here, he scores with the exact same glitch. So now I'm down seven and my opponent gets ball after half. I realize this is only working against man, so I switch to some zones, but now he's going right down the field with short passes. So I switch back to man zero because it did have some success with that defensive end coming off the edge. And he goes right back to it and gets inside the red zone before scoring with the exact same play for the third straight touchdown of the game. I'm so sick of these people. You, you know, ooh. He tries to use it once again, but this time I'm in the couple four quarters and we get an interception to stop him from getting two. But now we're down two scores and needing a touchdown, so we go right back to the escape play against this cover four quarters. We don't score, but we get down the field in a hurry. We are running the hurry up as time is definitely a concern. I see he switches to a cover two, so I make a few new adjustments off script by motioning in AJ Brown, and AJ Brown does what AJ Brown does. You got most. As I moss what seems like his entire secondary. And now the difference in the game is really just a fumble from a fullback kick. He goes back to his non-glitch offense, and every time he does this, it's ended the same way as I come away with another interception. Gotcha, bitch! In reality, he really only has had success with that man glitch. He goes back to the cover four, and we go back to the escape one more time, only to moss his entire secondary again. You got moss! As it's obvious, this bum has no real user skill and needs glitch plays to win, as we take the lead back after being down two scores in a little less than two minutes ago. I'm done running man coverage and I just need one stop, but of course he goes back to that glitch play when he needs a first down, and now he is running clock. What a pussy. On the next play, nothing is open and I am just a hair late oh, he almost had it. from ending the game with an interception, and that hair is a difference in the game, as on the next play he gets into field goal range and I never get the ball back. I get him into a fourth and two, but he beats me with my own play, and that's game. I try to let him score, but he isn't falling for it. I'm not going to lie, losing to someone who plays like this burns me way more than losing to someone who's actually good, as he scored three straight touchdowns with that RPO glitch and got a BS fumble on a fullback kick to still only win by one possession. But I wanted to bring this game to you guys just to raise awareness as it really was frustrating. This only works against man though, so keep that in mind if you run into somebody that's using it. I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, win or lose, please be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Other than that, I have a breakdown of some of the offenses that I was using, like the escape play that I used to score three touchdowns in this gameplay popping up on screen. So if you guys want to add that to your arsenal, just click the link on the screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below